Hi guys, it's Ruth here. Welcome to uh, my channel, Artful Stampin'. Today we're going to be making a really cute card, a happy birthday one. Uh, you could add any sentiment you want to it, however. Okay, so I've already stamped an image from this gorgeous set called Flying Home. It's really perfect for colouring in and I've cut it out using the large oval from the stitched framelit dies. Now I'm sure you probably want to see me colour this in but it would make this video a whole lot longer. So I have um, got another video on the speed colouring in this image, not this actual colour scheme but another one. So if you want to see me colouring it in then check that video out. Um, however, what I am going to do is demonstrate to you how to create this kind of vignette around the edge it's where it's darker on the edge and goes lighter in the center. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. I've also got all my little components here ready to put the card together. So I'm using the designer series paper from the whole lot of lovely uh, designer series paper pack. And I'm, I'm using this gorgeous shreddy stuff from the spring summer catalogue and I'm going to be doing something special with this before we're using it on the card. I've also gone ahead and cut out some three of the um, blossoms from the Seasonal Layers Thinlets dies and I've also cut out the um, branch from that. This is cut out with soft suede and these are cut out with powder pink. So I'm just going to add some extra bits of inking and I wanted to show you how I'm going to do that. So around my happy birthday that I then cut out with the smallest of the oval um, framelit dies. Uh, this um, sentiment actually comes from ooh, a different stamp set. It's Picture Perfect Birthday and it's the happy birthday there. Okay, so I want to have a lighter colour in the middle. So I'm get using the light pink pirouette uh, stamp in blends and I'm just going to colour in the central part of my oval here and then I've got the darker pink pirouette and I'm just going to go around the edge of that and then here I've got the light calypso coral and I'm just going to edge that oval with this one here so as you can see, we've got light going into dark there. And then to make it all blend nicely, I'm going to get go back to my light pink pirouette. And then I'm just going to blend the edges of those colours together so that the lines aren't so harsh. So I'm just going round and round and round, making small little movements around there and then just helping to pull that colour together. Okay, and there we have it. And then we're just gonna set that aside to dry off. Then the other thing I wanted to show you is how to jazz up these cutouts here. So I've cut these out in the powder pink and I'm getting the dark pink pirouette. And I'm just going around the edges of the flower. Very quick and simple to do. Actually, it looks like I did that in a slightly darker. I had to go doing it earlier. I think I must have done it in the light Calypso Coral. So either one of those would be fine. I can see the shade, slight shade difference as I'm quite close to it here. So there we go, just done that. And then I've got the Daffodil Delight Stampin' Blend here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow to the centre of these um, blossoms. There we go, and actually maybe just a couple of little dots as well around and about because they have little bits of pollen floating around maybe. There we go. That's me just being extra with my detailing. You don't necessarily have to do that. Okay, and then so I'm going to be adding some leaves, so I'm going to show you how we do that. So I've got the leaf punch, uh, I've punched out already with, um, this is Daffodil Delight. So I'm going to use the light... I'll just check. I've put the wrong caps on these, so let me just check. There we go, that's the light one. So I'm just going to start with the light Stampin' Blends. And I'm not colouring it in super perfectly. I don't mind a little bit of the yellow peeking through because I want it to kind of mimic the colouring that I did on here. 
and when I coloured that in I put I laid down some yellow first before putting the green to get a more of a limey yellowy green so don't be afraid to mix your Stampin' Blends together um, I'm aware we've only got one shade of the of green so you can make the greens look different by adding different colours so mixing the light old olive with maybe some light crumb cake that that works quite well sometimes and then certainly mixing it with uh, yellow just makes it look very different and then if you mix it with a little bit of the pool party it kind of gives you a bluey greeny kind of effect okay so I've got three leaves there ready to go right so I'm going to start oh now I need to there's one more thing I need to show you before I start assembling so I'm just going to move these bits out of the way so here's the white shreddies from the um, spring summer catalogue and I don't want it too stark or white so I've got here soft suede ink and I'm just going to get a whole load well sort of a small handful and just dump it on top of the ink pad and push it down and then just move it around and just give it a good old press in there just mix it up and move it around so that the ink is getting onto different parts of the paper and it's just to give it a little bit of extra colour and texture I couldn't think of a way of doing it that didn't absolutely soak it I mean you could put some ink drops in a spritzer and just spray it if you wanted an absolute overall colour but I thought this would be a quick and easy way for me to do it just to get an extra bit of texture on there okay right just set that aside as well just to let that dry so here I've already cut out my card base so the card base measures 14 and a half centimeters by 14 and a half which is just under six inches so probably looking at the five and three quarter inch mark if that's what you work in and then I've cut two pieces of designer series paper that are five centimetres uh, wide and 14 and a half centimetres long. And I'm just going to attach those to either side of my base, making sure that I've got the same amount of distance around the edge. I'll just do that here as well. There we go. And then the central piece, I've actually torn it because I wanted it to have a little bit of extra texture. I'm just going to twist back the um, edges there and then put glue right down the middle and place that over the top and try to make sure that I've got equal amounts of the Oh, I've just realised I cut that a little bit too long, but never mind, I'm just going to keep it to what it is, because I've stuck it down now. There we go. Right, so at the side of me here, I've had my hot glue gun heating up nicely, ready to stick the shreddies, because what I want to do is stick that down first as a bit of a nest for my central image. And I've never done this before, so you guys are the first to see me do this. So um, it's all a little bit of a slight experiment. So I'm just going to place some glue right in the middle there, like that. And then dump it on and flatten it out a little bit. There we go. So I've just got some glue on my fingers. Right. So let's just spread it out a bit. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Let's make sure it's all stuck on. Yeah, that's worked. Okay, woohoo. Right, so I just want to get an idea of my placement of my little nest here. And also my little branch. I'd like to have the branch, I guess, coming from underneath, but... Oh, I know what I could do. Could I snip it and... No, I think I'll just place it on top like that. So I'm just going to put some more glue over the top of the shreddies to stick down the main image here. So I'm just going to 
make sure oh, oh dear come on glue make sure I've got quite a good amount there another thing about hot glues you do have to move fast because the whole way it adheres is by heating and melting and then once it's cooled down it's solid so there we go that feels quite flat and secure and then I want to put a little bit of glue on the back of this branch just to get that stuck down and I'm going to be placing a flower over where the glue is so I'm not too worried that it's showing up a bit so I'm just going to quickly grab a flower and stick that over the top to hide the glue and then just grab these other little bits of these other flowers to stick on and I'm going to try and just put a very tiny tiny amount of the hot glue in the middle there get that stuck down and then the same with this one here I'm actually going to push it down so it adheres to the DSP underneath as well because I don't really want that branch sort of floating around too much. Okay so before I tuck the leaves in I'm just going to get my tweezers and give them a little bit of a shape and then have a think about where I'm going to pop those. I just felt that the card needed a little bit more zing somewhere and to sort of pull out the colour of their beaks and the leaves that I'd coloured in and also it just ties in with the whole theme of what I'm trying to create so right we're just going to put a little bit of glue around that stem there and then just kind of push it into there and push that down and because the heat, the glue is quite blobby you know that it's going to attach to something under there Ooh, there we go oh flying leaf the okay, last one And then I've just got the happy birthday to attach now. I think I'm just going to put it there. Just on the side of the larger oval. And there's enough of enough of it to sort of hold on and to stick up there. So got some flyaway strands there, but I think that works right that's it thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed today's project i think it's turned out really really cute and um you could use this for sort of all sorts of occasions you could use this as a you know new baby um just an easter spring card and certainly of course a happy birthday or a best wishes or even a get well soon that might be quite cute as well so um i love all the colors and how it's turned out and um i hope it's inspired you Okay, thank you for joining me and don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. Bye.